how long should I should someone stay in sober living? Well, how long did you drink and use for? Well, not saying that you need to stay in sober living for as long as you drink and use for, but many people think that they can stay in sober living for a couple weeks or or a month and, and and they get everything that they need in a month or 30 days or even 60 days. It takes a long time to change your thinking and to change the way that you respond when you're triggered. And that very first year after you get clean and sober, there's so many things that happen. You have to get a new job. You get fired from your job. You need to learn how to write a resume. It's your birthday. It's other, pe other people's birthday. You're going to birthday parties. You're going to football games. You're going to baseball games, weddings, New Year's Eve, July 4th, Memorial Day, St. Patty's Day, April Fool's Day, like, like all of the different holidays that happen and you're experiencing them, if you're experiencing them probably for the first time in your life, clean and sober. So learning how to live life differently takes time. So statistics show that staying in sober living for at least 90 days, that's where you get the most benefit. If, if, if you stay in sober living for at least 90 days after you go to treatment, your chances of staying clean and sober increase by 40%. That's, that's what the statistics show. So staying in sober living, I've seen people stay in sober living for up to two years. So three to six months is a good, is kind of a good introductory period of time to, to stay clean and sober. And it's, it's, it's stay, stay in sober living. I've heard people say, stay in sober living until you're scared to leave. And when you're scared to leave, that's when it's like, okay, you've got a little bit of anxiety. You realize that you might need to be careful when you're out there in the real world, living on your own without the rules, without the structure, without the accountability, then it's time to leave. And also following your treatment plan that was laid out for you by your interventionist, by your case manager, by your therapist, with the help of your family members. And just don't make the decision to leave sober living on your own. I guess that would be the most important thing is consult with your sponsor, your therapist, your case manager, your loved ones. And if you can consult with all those people, don't make an impulsive decision to leave sober living. You know, don't get, get into a fight with your roommate and say, screw this, I'm out of here. You get into a fight with the house manager, screw this, I'm out of here. That's when it's not good to leave. Make sure that you have your plan laid out you consult with people that you trust, and that's when you make the decision to leave the sober living home.